Hey, what's up, it's your girl Faye. It's me Faye, I know. I know we're here again. I know you don't like being here, but you force yourself to be here, so we're gonna get through this, okay? If you guys didn't know, I have a second closet in my room. The closet we've been cleaning out is my main closet. This is my side piece, okay? Do you guys remember doing this as a kid? In this closet, I keep all my cardigans, jackets, outer hose, excluding coats and things like that. I have a lot of closets to clean out. Come with me. Jackets, outer hose, beanies, hats, random bags I have. We have a little shoe moment. You don't even want to know what's over here. That's a whole different complicated avenue that we will not discuss today. But yeah, ignore the overhead lighting. We are as organic as possible. Welcome to another <sighs> cleaning out clothes I kept until I was skinny. Featuring 75 pieces of outerwear. I know this... 75, I think I'm crazy. A hoarding issue of its own. But if you have more than 75 cardigans, jackets, shackets, if I'm crazy and insane, you're psychotic, so. <laughs> I'm just trying to make you feel worse so I feel better. Why not just drag people down with you when you're going down, you know? Why not make people feel shitty? Because you feel shitty. <laughs> so why not, why not? One attention, one away. Look at this plaid piece. Cute, dainty. Oh my gosh, she's radiating soft feminine energy. With the arm. Sucking my arms up. I couldn't have that. So I thought I'll keep it until I'm a little bit more toned and fit. <laughs> <laughs> They're better. The thing is now I'm really just giving stuffy. This is not build a beer shop and I really feel that way. I rest my case. <sighs> okay. I love the breaded knitted arms look, the twisted knots. A little balloon sleeve going on with the wrist pinching at the wrist. I feel packaged. I feel like you could send me out to talk to in-laws today and I will win over people's heart. Oh, homie cardigan. It's not too long. I do like my cardigans under my no ass. This one's okay too. You know? Does it look heavy on me though? You know what I mean when you kind of just drown in your clothes? Does it look heavy? Or did I just look heavy? Me keep. This is what I mean. It's a collection of things in here. This is what I mean. I'm just trying to sing Ariel, but it's not working out. Collection of things. Okay, this gotta go. I, okay, wait. I got this off of Lip Hop. It's just like a zip up hoodie. The worst texture ever. I mean, you might as well wipe your ass with the sandpaper. But I like the look. It's giving while she works out. While she's athletic. Does it? I know most of you are just like Faye. It's just a zip up hoodie. You don't look. But I hate how curly the zippers are. Washed away too many times. So toss. Girl who has everything. This is very interesting. A pull over cardigan. Cut and clear halfway. No longer than your back rolls, okay? So that's the best you can get. The only thing is I'm always confused whether or not I have it on upside down. But who cares? Because it blends. I think it's gorgeous. I think it's great. I think it's upside down. If you want this, you have to be willing to let go of all control. Like this thing will dangle on and off. You're gonna be doing this all day. When I wear this, I just put like on top of things. It gives you that fashion state. I just really like hate having to always do this. Anyway, keep. I've gotten so many questions about this cardigan because I'm so popular. <laughs> I worn this cardigan a couple times and this is actually a sample I got. I run a small online boutique called that's her shop.com. Shop now, we're dropping sweaters this week. Very soon. I was debating on getting this for my shop. Then I ended up not going for it. But I might bring it around. It is like the wholesome knitted like cardigans that pop out like these strawberries. Let me know. Because I was all for this cardigan last year. People I knew in person were like, hey, that's that's just not but it. But then now it's trending. Almost like three steps ahead of the game. And they're only now popping up brains. I want someone to dress drive their force into me because why do I have this? Why am I keeping this? Even me just looking at this, I'm like, girl, you would never wear this out. Like, you would never, you could never. Look, look at this, like, sweet little lettuce tracing around my wrist. Big bulgy pearls, cut out patterns, the little wave. This looks like it was meant for people with aesthetics of porcelain dolls. I have a personality of a bulldog. I mean, ugh, I think it's time to let this go. I just never saw myself wearing it. Like, I just never got to it. I mean, I guess I never give it a chance. I just don't know. Something about the shoulder area just makes me feel so, makes it look buff. Is it the pattern? I love the torso length. I love the buttons. Mm, actually, I don't love this caramel mix. There's a stain. I can keep choosing you, but you'll never choose me. By the way, I'm really happy that a lot of people who are watching these videos are just feeling inspired and entertained to clean out the closet. This was gifted. I love saying gifted because it reminds me that I'm still an influencer. This was gifted to me by Lip Hop. Huge thank you. I'm out here receiving my Grammy. I'm not gonna be the one to say because it. Because no one else is gonna say it. So I have to say I it. I truly feel like I discovered lip hop. This is just me being like petty. I look fucking crazy. During quarantine, I started to get into these hauls and all I ever did was feature lip hop hauls. From YesStyle, by the way, use this code if you want. 10% off. People starting to wear lip hop just started rapping lip hop. Faye is selfish. Bitch. Ah. Don't know the lyrics. 
I'm a devil. I'm gonna paint the town red. <laughs> I see myself styling it's it. It's just been like three years I haven't attempted. But like, this is the season of trying. And I'm too attached, so keep. Like, you can't be mad. I'm keeping some of the fits. This too was also gifted to me from Yesta. I love Yesta because I get to shop all my favorite Korean brands. I usually almost always support just the Korean brands on Yesta. It's a little bit more pricey because it's made in Korea. And the it, quality is actually well sourced. I don't know why I gotta do that spiel, but use my code. <laughs> I saw myself buttoning it and wearing it with like, thigh boots or just some like high knee socks. Maybe even like a skirt peeking underneath. But then like, I just lost sight of myself. So then I got around to it. Also like the sleeves are wildly big. Arms are just, <laughs> arrest me. I know I look like a grandma in this, but. Who doesn't love a sweet little grandma, a small bean? Although some could be creepy. I'm not trying to look like some barbarian out here. I got this from Amazon with you guys. We got flannels up in here. It's not too long and I love that. I love the black and white. You can catch me roasting a marshmallow or two. So homie. Okay, this is my favorite, favorite go-to going out jacket. This is a cropped leather jacket. This was from Lip Hop and let me just tell you, I'm a fan of all their outerwear. Shop Lip Hop on YesStyle, use the code. Just trying to help a hottie on a budget out. I rarely ever zip this up. So this is the first for you, Emmy. Okay, let's not get stuck in this. Love how the zipper is like on the side. Bitch, I said what I said. That's what she said. Okay, Faye, we don't need to tell a story with every item of clothing, but this is part of why we hoard things. So, you know, it's not just because we're waiting till we're skinny, it's because we're attached. Memories live on in your head. But anyway, I wore this on me and Al's second date. I was so cute. <laughs> he was a little nerdy boy, but I was so cute. I don't know why I'm being sad because I'm keeping this. I wore this one and I promised myself I'll never throw it away because it looked good. I felt like a milf in this and you guys know that's my only lifetime goal. This is exactly what I get. Okay, not with this outfit, but you know what I mean. Think about it. It's like a blouse shirt but cropped into like a cardigan crappie. Who else is gonna find this? Who else has this? Let, name them. Name them. Lip hop. Lip hop is where to go when you want to find cute outer pieces that no one in your club's gonna be wearing. It's a unique piece. It's a statement piece. I think it's gorgeous for a fashion piece. On a night with your side piece or your main piece. Whatever it is, it's a piece, okay? And it brings me peace. So keep. <laughs> oh no, she did not. E -E -N -K. This is from Korea and also gifted from W Concept. Pink cardigan that Rose wore. It has like these cute little cuts on the side like this. So it looks like you broke your arm and the joint is really hanging on for dear life. Or your bone. I don't know, I never broke an arm. But I did study human biology, so what the fuck. Anyway, your armpits get a little breather. Or just gold buttons. Literally in the shape of roses. No wonder. However, I must say the texture of this is just very, like, it feels like a washcloth. But nonetheless, it's expensive and great. So we're keeping it, of course. <gasps> Where is my favorite? Um, this is the second ever cardigan I bought from Korea. We're doing this photo shoot with the cherry blossoms. I was like, I need a cardigan. It needs to match the theme. So I found this mauve pink one. But the funny thing is, you be getting looks if you're going to shop in Korea. Just heads if up. If you're a bigger girl like me and yes this is considered really big when you go into a store there's just gonna be this look on you like what are you doing here girl like you do not belong in the shop it was the body language for me girl and the bombastic side eyes of my bad feel like you don't belong but that's okay because we found a cardigan whenever i go back to korea i will be the skinniest of the skinniest before i return i gave myself two years to lose weight and i've only gained five pounds five pounds of courage and confidence did I get this for like some type of event? She's really giving extra skin. I really do enjoy the playfulness this cardigan is giving. I just don't think I'm in this era anymore. It kind of feels sharpe. Once in a lifetime means there's no second chance. This was sent to me from a friend. I just never wore it. I'm just not really sure how to. It'll stick to my body if I'm working out in this. It looks like it can withstand water. I'd be drenched. So, how else would I use this? Mosquito net. Camping? Mm hmm. Oh no, not one of your old school cardigans. I think I have this for like six years. I'm not even exaggerating. I like the gray. I like the grand gray. These older cardigans just make them look so grandma y. But cuddly. Cuddle and grandma does not go well together. I'm gonna pick one or the other, and this one I'm gonna say. Another gray moment. This one's a little longer. It's a little bit more loose. It doesn't have that huge of a balloon sleeve. But it's still very cozy. I mean, how do I feel? I mean, it's just a cardigan. Like, I don't really know what else to say. I do love how it's ribbed. I can give it that. But it's not as soft. And right now, I think I'm just going for, like, things that are soft. So tough. I don't even know. I think it was gifted. I think this one was... 
<laughs> but either way, it's a cardigan. No, it's not. Why are you lying? Leather jacket, but has the form of a blazer. The sleeves are very like straight cut. Length is very straight cut. Everything's just very boxy. I don't know how I would make this look cool. I mean, I guess I could try, but I don't have time for that, you know? <laughs> Although I did say earlier, this is the season of trying. This is the season of trying. Oh no, 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 not this era. A beauty con day. I've only ever went once. This is a Tommy Hilfiger thing. You really thought you looked cool in this? Just as confused as me. Look at my arms. I'm almost embarrassed that I wore this in public at a meet and greet. Okay, something more my style. Finally. I wear this windbreaker often, actually. Especially in the heat, it's nice. It still covers me up. I'm not burning. There's a net underneath. So my skin's not actually sticking to this, like, texture. I'm protected. I always use protection. Super cute when you have shorts on. Because it looks like you got no pants on. No pants. Our linen moment. You guys know this summer we kind of transformed into like a linen girl. Shaded from the sun, but you're not too hot in it. The wind still gets through. It's just too long. Oh, it looks a little funny from the back. If you're just behind me, you're like, damn. But from the front, it screams everything. I need to wash it though. We're to LA. Dirty police. <laughs> We're still on the linen train. Here's the blue stripe one. And the length is perfect. It would have been cute over a jumpsuit. But like, I'm not trying to show my moopa like that. Moopa? Did you guys ever watch Cadet Cali? This is what it reminds me. I remember going into H&M and trying to find anything I could that was different, unique, a piece. Literally in one month, I was going to interview with K-pop stars. My own show on some I wore this on the day Ace taught me how to dance. Five minutes before Ace walked in, head of the production team came to me and she was like, Girl, do you know how to dance? I mean, I used to break dance. Just kidding. We were thinking, why not let Ace teach you how to dance? I'm over here dropping candy corn out of my booty hole. All sorts of nervous. What do you mean? It'll be such a fun, cool idea. These cute K-pop idols teach you, no brainer, how to dance. Okay. I was really good at saying yes to things and overcoming my anxiety then and there. Oh man, back then. For that sole reason, I'm keeping this, okay? I don't know why I'm wearing it this way because I'm too lazy to undo the button. But I like this brown because it's like very cool tone. It's like tough, right? Oh my god. No, uh, uh. oh, thank you. <laughs> oh. This might be one of the oldest things I have. Don't lie, Linda. You know this was the sheet back in the day. Wearing like a blazer looking cardigan with a matching skirt. Like you know it was the it. Don't lie to me. Agree with me. Speaking of matching sets, this is paper thin. Oh my god, my arms. And you're telling me I was supposed to wear this out? This screams therapy. You need help, girl. This will probably put me back in therapy. This again is from Lip Hub. It just does this sit like in a flattering way on my body. But it's a lot better than the one before. It looks weird like this. And if I zip it up, it looks even more weird. It's too small. I'm just tired of sucking in my stomach. You know, this just, just does not help me. Sorry, girl. Sorry. As a thrift queen, I went once. You guys know I found this cardigan. The texture's not great. I know I said I was like, I'm going for soft. Again, something about how this sits on the back of my rolls makes me feel loved and comforted and seen. I wore this to, um, oh my God, it's too tall. Tall. It's too small. Ow! It's pinching me. <laughs> oh, pinching my arm. I was tinier back then for sure. No shit. New Year's Eve in New York with Whitney. Wait, how potty. This is when an old man kept calling me Pocahontas. And I didn't realize how racist that was in the moment. And a guy thought I wanted to kiss and he tried to plant one on me. He was just like, and I was like, boy, what the fuck? Again, cleanse the closet of those. Quarantine. And then there's this. I'm not even gonna go in this. I don't know why I have another furry cardigan. I've never worn this. I believe it was from J-Style. Because I wanted to look K-Style. Um. So on days I'm not acting like a fool, aka myself, I try to trick people that I have my life together. I'm a certified. It's the bad. <laughs> okay, I look more mature, right? Where am I going outside with this? To Walmart? It can barely close up. It's too tight to the point where I'm like hunched over to fit it. Like, look at my arm. Look how tiny it becomes because it's squished, smashed, grinded. <laughs> yeah, we're good. Kitchen. Ow. Nope. Oh, I was obsessed with this. I thought I looked so sexy in this. So I kept it for so long during the quarantine time. Way too small for me now. Look at this. I don't even know where my shoulders begin and end. Oh my god, we love this Amazon purchase. My goodness, oh my gosh. This is probably the best cardigan touch. So soft, so loose on the arms. I feel so free. Not having to combust myself into one to fit into something. Okay, I don't fit this. This fits me comfortably. I forgot I had this. Is it really worth it when you still don't even remember that it exists? It's cute. This is from Rolla Rolla. We know how I feel about that. I look like I go to boarding school. I look like 
I came from Old Money. My own navy brand deal. Okay. Those gonna be challenging, but I actually really like it. I love how big the ribs are. And there's still a multitude of free space to use up in my sleeves. Yes, and by the way, if you guys can tell, it's almost midnight. I started this at 7, so. I have a love-hate relationship with this. I do love how it looks because of the bagginess on the arms. Skinny who? I don't need to be skinny in this. I could still zip it up, it's stretchy. Does it make me look shabby? Do I look like I belong on the street? Does it make me look a little scruffy? You know? Keep it. I didn't remember I had you. I wanna look like strawberry shortcake in this. I wanna give off that youthful, fun energy. Just a girly girl at its peak. But, <laughs> I don't, Again, I have a personality of a pit bull. I've been trying to find any and every opportunity I could to wear this top. Oh, it hates me. Oh, abuse. This crop suit. I thought I fit this literally not too long ago. Why, why, why are you making me hate myself? This was supposed to be I rule the world. I am her. That's her. It's giving me front desk on cruise. This was a collaboration with Cherry Coke. And I bought this out. Jesus. Let me let you in on a little secret. The reason why I had so many of these jackets, especially for like meet and greet or events, things that no longer exist in my life, was because I was insecure about my chubs, around my armpits and my arms and my back. Anytime, every time, most likely when you met, I had some sort of jacket on. I can barely fit this and I thought I was huge back then. <sighs> You also know what I realized? How much money I've wasted in my life. Like how much money did I spend on clothes? But I like this one, so money won't be worth it. Is this old or what? Like, it doesn't look gray, it looks yellow. Excuse me, am I colorblind? I look like I broke my arm on a winter night. Is it weird that I can't even spread my hand? <laughs> She's <laughs> Here's my cape. Immediately now. Did someone say spooky season with a little spice and a little nice? <gasps> I love this color on myself. I can appreciate a good mustard. A good diarrhea color just looks great on me. Back in the K-style days, the K-pop days, it was such a thing to be wearing like an oversized blazer with like a mini plaid skirt. Girl, this is like one of my first ever blazers I this bought. This used to be big on me. Look at the back. <laughs> on the topic of K-pop blazers, I was such a wannabe. I take full accountability. When you're young and you're inspired and you just wish to look like a star. Easily influenced, okay? And that's totally fine. Just don't be weird. Once you're weird, that's where you cross the line. Is this weird? I don't ever see myself wearing this. You can never go wrong with a nice little black cardigan that's soft and soothing on your skin. Um, I think I got this from like Urban Outfitters. It has a little shine to it, but you can't. <laughs> I swear I get crazier by the night. It's like crazy energy, but out of two. Delirious. So this is a cool jacket. Oh, it smells like fish. This is from Lip Hop. They must have put some Omega 3s in here or something. How am I supposed to get that stench out? Because I love this. Actually, this fall, let me tell you now before it gets too trendy, short leather jackets are really it. What do you know? So you'll be ahead of the game. Brains. Oh, horrendous. Anyway, look at this. Do I look like Tartar? It's supposed to look cooler than this. I just don't look cool right now. I, look, I feel bloated. I mean, look at this stomach right now. Off the shoulder, very biker esque. Just hardcore Rock vibes. Kicking your balls. This is a double zipper, so I think you could like detach it, but I don't know why I just slipped into it. Like, it couldn't do that. Everyone's gonna be wondering, where'd you get that? Look up. Use code Faye. Also, I don't make commission off that code at all. So it's just for you. <laughs> Again from Lip Hop, wow. My whole wardrobe is Lip Hop, I swear. I love how big this cardigan is. It's so cozy. I wore it at camp, but did I laundry this? No, I did not. What if there are ticks on here? Oh my god, my anxiety. I look like walking s'mores. I actually attracted a lot of bees and got a bee sting. The bee actually fell off of my eyelid and my lashes because I felt it and I was like this. Fell onto my knee and it stung me. Also, it's very long, so it's just like appropriate to wear in the forest, the woodsy wood, and there's mosquitoes. It's just like covers you up perfect. <coughs> oh, look at this. Another lip pop item. I'm so lazy to unzip it that I literally just slid it up my body. This is giving me 80s, 90s. Very long. I love the color combo. It's just very retro, very back. You look cool. Look cool. Hip hop. It's just cool. I think. Oh, well, well, well. You guessed it. Lip up. My favorite jean jacket. Has knitted sleeves. Quality of this. Look at it. It's lumpy. It's thick. Hefty quality. Mucho grande style. Wow. Who's gonna clean all this? Me. <laughs> Are you guys ready to see my favorite cardigan of all time? You thought you saw it? You did not. All the time go to. I wear this like almost every outing. Literally anywhere and everywhere. I, I take this with me. Dun, dun, dun. I don't even re 
Oh my god, sorry. Are you okay? I don't remember where I got this. I want to say Korea, but I can't recall fully. I'm almost confident it was from. I don't know how to describe it. The way it fits on my body is just perfection. It just slides on my body like home. It's loose. It's not that soft. <laughs> it doesn't make me sweaty. It doesn't make me cold. It's just perfect. The length is perfect when I wear like a dress. And it's right below my lego ass and the fact that it's neutral it just matches everything anything and all like everyone's welcome anyone can wear this cardigan multiple people in my family have tried to steal this cardigan and by steal i just mean they asked to borrow it and they just never returned it until i like harped on them so to me you were stealing miracle look at the way it drapes off of me it doesn't like hug my body too tight it's, just, it's perfect i need to hurry up because i don't want to do this on it another blazer Ooh. Am I kidding? This could be fun. Better than the gray one, right? See, the gray one had like all this weird stuff, but I like this black one. I never know I have this. This thing makes too much sound. Back in my days, <laughs> I used to always wear this jean jacket out. Bigger haze face, smaller haze face. If you guys watch Sophia Chang, her sister Robin had this waterproof jean jacket collaboration or what was her brand? I don't remember, but I remember seeing Sophia talk about it and I was like, I want it, I need it, I got it. And then it became like my favorite jean jacket. To almost every function. It was almost toxic behavior. So cute. It was what started my jean jacket collection. I am Lois. Speaking of loyal, I forgot I had this jean jacket from Lip Gloss. So this one is supposed to wrap around like a dress on me, except um, that never happened. So, yeah. Looks like I'm gonna go work in a wood shop. It has this like gardening feel. <laughs> Do you even want to know? Priya, so let me just let me just pop on the blazer. Thank goodness I packed this and never wore it. Cause I wouldn't look like a. F an idiot. I swear you're speaking to yourself. Another lip hop flannel. Once I found my big camper flannel, I was like, yes, I need more. So I went with the shorter version. It actually has a wrap adapt. So you could wrap this around and make it like all like cinched and stuff. It's just, I don't need the help right now, so I don't really know if this part's necessary. Oh wait, you cinch it from the back. I love this color combo. That's the main reason. I don't have anything in this brown and blue color. Appreciate. Ow, karma. This is the only mustard jean jacket I have. And I'm pretty sure it's not that common to <laughs> It was gifted from the top, actually. Yeah, you know. I don't know if I can ever see myself wearing But it could be cool for fall. As long as I like go all in. I can't half-ass. Because if you half-ass with a mustard leather jacket, you just failed yourself and others and your whole family. If you guys ever see me wearing this on Instagram, I did not half-ass. Whenever you ever see this, just come It's mustard bear. It is midnight. I cannot be making grudge-like sounds. I'd be creeping myself out. I mean, I'm just... This is the infamous Zara. This is my sister. It's in my closet because I stole it, so shut up. We borrow this we like it's ours. I borrow this jean jacket from her a lot. I like the lighter wash and the cut is perfect around our short ass torso. Barely closes. You have two big old pockets here for like freaking ice cream sandwiches. I'm keeping and I'm keeping it in my closet. This is old. I could just feel how old it is. The thinness. I mean it's cute though. It's very long. It's like down to my shin. I mean it could be cute if I open it wide so you can tell it's like hiding behind the side boobies. But anyways toss. I have never worn this. Out. I just thought this would be fun if I was like on a nice little job just trying to like mind my business in public but i have something called anxiety so i don't like to be out by myself running especially because i could be kidnapped at any time and no one would know honestly answer this i don't know how people can jog outside or go on a walk fully with earbuds in. especially their noise canceling headphones or airpods i don't know how people do that without being like scared someone's them. gonna come up behind them and snatch them that's why i'm so like jolty and jumpy even when i'm walking with no headphones i'm like <gasps> when someone's like on your left i'm like <laughs> Which left? Oh, I'm so sad. I loved this jean jacket too. It's so tight. It's from ASOS. Frankly and wrinkly. Like it feels like an old saggy butt. I love the color though. I love the length. I'm keeping. Oh my god. Yes. Another lip hop flannel? I am obsessed with this. I don't know if you've heard, but crop flannels aren't in. Maybe this one's a little too crap. I just feel unbothered in this. And not the, not the, ugh, not this. Why is this so incredibly limpy on my body? Let me look. If you have any cardigan with this kind of folding, you, my dear, are old. I said it, I said it. Since when did I shop at Uniqlo? Who the? Did they send this to me? It looks perfectly new. I don't even know if they know I exist. I can't remember. I have a memory of a fish. This is a large... I've shopped at Uniqlo. But that was in Korea and there's no way I bought myself a denim jacket. No, I'm pretty sure they sent this to me. I like this. I don't know if I'd wear it. Baggy vibes, you know? Just the arms aren't that bad to my liking, I guess. Wait, it's kind of cute. Don't believe anything I say. Oh my god, I look prega. I don't remember where this one 
one's from. But honestly, I'm about to just, oh, it's so long. I keep going for toxic clothes, like toxic men. Back then, back then, I'm proudly and happily taken. <laughs> you guys already know, I thrifted this poofy vest thing. Keep, of course. Barbara 21, interesting. I don't even remember having a pink cardigan like this. Did I steal this? It looks good though. This isn't like too much. This is like when I want something fitting on my body. Did I eat? Chugged like a whole bottle of gator. Blazer, was that green one? I lied, I think this was my first one. It has a shoulder pad, you freaking weirdo. I think I actually wore this. I wore this. In Korea. Please don't go back to my Korea vlogs on my vlog channel and look at my outfits. Like, I'm fully ashamed and embarrassed. But if you actually do it, because I'm not gonna do it because I'm way too ashamed and embarrassed, can you screenshot and tag me on Instagram? Thanks. I just wanna see, but I don't wanna go back and relive those memories. This I'm keeping because Banish actually sent this as PR and they embroidered my name. Hey, it's Faye on the back. When I was like making peak acne and blackhead videos, those were the days. We once lived that life. I used to wear this out all the time. I should do it again. Why not? Why not? Why not? Okay, you ready for our last one? <laughs> this is my last jacket that was sent to me. Claire. <laughs> it's sticky. The seams are cutting me. You can hear me miles away from Michigan. Wherever you are, you can hear me. How cool. I feel like Bob. It's sticky and nasty over a long time and it turns yellow. This, this is it. It turned yellow. This was clear. But there's a tinge of yellow. Like, it looks like bacteria has been growing on it or something. How am I supposed to clean this? Do I just take like a wet wipe and just... I can barely move my arms though, like... This is as far as I'd go. I think a lot of people will give you looks, but not the kind of looks you want. Yeah, I have no interest of keeping this. And that wraps up... 75 jackets? I don't know. I'm thrilled that you guys are motivated to clean out your closet after watching these videos. Because girl trust. It took me a while to get there too. Like if you go to my first ever video, clothes I kept until I was getting, I was bawling my eyes out, okay? Like girl, regulate your emotions for once and I couldn't, I couldn't do it. I'm just accepting that like I'm bigger now. I much rather have that mindset so I could just appreciate my body Maybe now. Because you know how we always go, oh, I'll be skinnier later. Two years go by and you're like, wow, if I had known that was going to be my skinniest, I would have like flaunted more and I thought I was big. Yourself in five years will appreciate that you like fully thrived with that confidence. Coming from a girl wearing plastic right now. Anyway, I love you guys. Good night. You guys, this is ridiculous. I may have kept this on a millisecond longer than I should have. Sticking to it. Oh my god, I'm like waxing my hair off. Oh, I'm gonna cut you up. Tell me where you do.